This is the Misfit Vegan Pilot. This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 459. I always do that, but usually I start over. Today I'm not starting over. I have a question from, I won't say who, I will keep it anonymous in case they want me to. And they wrote, Jeanette, I hope you don't mind my asking you a question. There's a lot of talk about parasites that I'm trying to sort through. I know you don't advocate a juice fast because it's not sustainable. And I'm wondering, do you think if someone has parasites, a raw vegan diet could gradually clear that up? Or is it something you would recommend a cleanse for? My husband has MS and a new very plausible theory is that it is caused by parasites in the brain. Crazy, I know. I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on this. Also, do you take supplements? Thank you so much for the question. Well, this is a great topic to discuss. First of all, I think it is very possible that your husband might have a parasite because I think most people have parasites. If we have eaten meat and dairy in our lifetime, then it is a high, high probability that we have parasites inside of us. And some of these parasites, um, they've duplicated and they've had parasite babies. And it is very disgusting and scary to think about, but it is absolutely possible because we were eating things we as humans were never designed to eat. And so the question is, do I think someone um, that has parasites should do a raw vegan diet or a cleanse? Well, you know, it's a great question. I think every person on earth should be on a raw vegan diet. And if they cannot, absolutely do not want to do a raw vegan diet, then a high raw vegan diet is the next best thing. There's only two healthy diets in my personal opinion, and that is a raw vegan diet or a high raw vegan diet. So now for cleansing parasites, the number one thing I would recommend, of course, a raw vegan diet um, would be very, very, very helpful and recommended. Um, something that he might want to consider are colonics, which I understand you're like, well, we're concerned that he has parasites in his brain. Well, the colon is the center of the body as far as disease goes, right? All disease starts in the colon. So we have to address the colon, whether we have a, a brain tumor or parasites in the brain, or we have an eye problem or an ear problem or a heart problem or a kidney or liver or pancreas problem. We need to go straight to the colon first. And then the other organs can do their job properly because what happens is, yes, we do get parasites and we do get other horrible things into our bodies. Um, but if the colon is properly cleansed, then you have a chance of the body doing its job properly because the body's always trying to heal 24-7, 365 days a year, no matter what we eat, no matter what we do, the body's number one job is to stay alive. And it is doing that. It is trying its very, very best to stay alive and to cleanse and heal. So I would, and he's a man, so this is going to be on you. Good luck. But I would highly recommend he get a series of gravity method closed system colonics. And it's not easy to find somebody who does that. So I don't know where you live, but I would highly recommend that. Hold on one second. <clears throat> I had to take a, a, a sip of juice. Um, so by the way, it's green juice with coconut water. Tastes so good. So now, yeah, closed system gravity method colonics are the only colonics I recommend. Any other colonic is not a good idea. It puts too much pressure on the colon. It's not, it, it's not a good idea. It has to be a gravity method closed system colonic. Um, if you're in New York, I can certainly recommend if you're in Miami or if you're in Oregon. Um, otherwise, you might want to 
do some research, start calling places, start researching. Um, you can even reach out to this guy, Everyday Detox on Instagram. He's like a colonic encyclopedia, colon hydrotherapist encyclopedia. He's awesome. Um, yeah, cleanses are great for parasites. My biggest fear is that people go on a cleanse and then they go back to eating shit. And so they actually are worse off because once you cleanse the body, once you start getting the crap out, your cells are open. Okay. So think about it like, um, what can I relate this to? Okay. Think about it like a bike, the tire on a bike. If it's really impacted with oil and dirt and debris, okay, no other oil and dirt and debris can really get into the center of the tire, right? Because all the other crap is on the outside and it's blocking it. It's creating a barrier. And the bike is not in good health. The bike doesn't look good. The bike doesn't feel good. It's not riding good. It's not a good bike, but you know, it is what it is. Now you go on a cleanse, you get rid of all that oil, that dirt, that debris, all that stuff. And now you have a beautiful brand new working bike. And if your husband eats McDonald's and fucking, you know, crap, meat and dairy, processed foods, cheese, and all these horrible things, well, now the cells are going to be open and receptive to all that even more. That's my biggest fear. That's why I don't recommend cleanses. You are doing more harm than good if you cleanse and then go back to eating a standard American diet. You are doing more harm than good. I'm always very weary of these people that are doing these long-term juice fast or these long-term mono meal fast. I just, I pray for them. I worry for them because your body does not, once it is cleansed out, once it is healed, once it is working properly, your body, it it truly revolts and it, cause it doesn't want to be sick anymore. It doesn't want crap in its body, like in its body, you know, your body is a beautiful, amazing vessel and it's supposed to be healthy. And when it gets healthy, it celebrates and it's so happy. And then if you put meat and dairy and processed foods and fast food and chemicals and toxins back in the system, you will get even more sick than ever. It will be worse than ever. So I do not recommend cleanses for people that are going back to standard American diets. Sure, if he can do a cleanse and then eat a raw vegan diet, well, that would be ideal. But I can't guarantee that. So I would highly, highly recommend a raw vegan diet to him if he's up for it. I don't know what he's eating right now. I don't know what is going on there. I would recommend you go on it with him for moral support. And focus on things that parasites do not like. Parasites do not like the, um, the, the herbs. So parsley, cilantro, dill. Parasites hate dandelion, watercress, arugula, those bitter things, okay? Um, and they can't be in smoothies. You have, to, you have to chew on them because the bitterness has to hit the tongue, okay? Parasites hate garlic. They hate ginger. They hate turmeric. They hate all those antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic things like ginger and garlic and all the herbs. Um, I would, yeah, you can try a parasite cleanse as well. I did one myself because in the beginning of my raw vegan journey, I was very, very bloated, always, always bloated. I looked pregnant and I, I had exhausted my options. I got all, you know, all, all the things out of my diet that could have been causing it. I was only eating fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds. And so I was trying to figure out what was going on. And I had like 20 colonics and I was just like, this doesn't make any sense, you know? So I said, okay, maybe it's a parasite. You know, this is before I knew that, well, colonics really do take care of parasites, especially the ones that are in the colon and the large intestine. But nevertheless, I did a parasite cleanse, but what I did was I ate regular, you know, I ate raw, but every single morning and I think it was a, I think it was two or three times a day. I had this powder that contained a bunch of different herbs. You know, you can just Google parasite cleanses. Maybe Dr. Morse has, you know, a, a good mixture of um, of herbs 
that might might be very valuable. I remember there was, I'm not going to be able to remember exactly what was in it, but I got it at this place called Live Live in New York City. And, um, oh no, High Vibe. It was called High Vibe in New York City. So if anybody's from, anybody's from New York, check out High Vibe. They have amazing stuff. Um, and yeah, personally what I would do, yeah, I'd get the colonics. I'd get on a raw vegan diet. I'd take a parasite cleanse, but I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend a juice cleanse or any type of restrictive fast for someone who is not raw. What will happen is the cravings will get so out of control that they will have to eat processed foods or bread or dairy or meat and it will be worse than ever. So yes, a raw vegan diet is the best way. And yeah, parasites hate raw vegan diets. Um, they can't really thrive on them. And just so you guys know, I did not have a parasite. Nothing changed. That didn't work. Um, and uh, my bloating issues were because of a few things. And mostly it was because of eating very, very late at night, having a fucked up parasympathetic system. Okay, so being in fight or flight all the time, barely sleeping, eating very late at night, and also very poor food combining because I didn't know anything about food combining when I started. And I have a very sensitive digestive system from eating, you know, Taco Bell most of my life. Okay. I really fucked up my intestines and my digestion by, you know, being a very stressed out, very nervous kid, having lots of trauma, and also eating nothing but fast food for the first 26 years of my life. You know, it was 26 years until, uh, actually 27 years until I had kale for the first time or an avocado for the first time. Um, you know, arugula, chard, um, all of these fruit and vegetables that I had never heard of, you know, and, um, all the fruits too. Um, but, um, yeah, I ate really, really bad for the first 26 years. Like not a salad, not a, not a fruit, you know, rarely had fruit. I loved watermelon, but that's about it. And I barely ate it though, because you know, sugar (laughs) or whatever. I don't know because the truth is not because of sugar. The truth is that like, it just didn't taste that good. You know, when you're eating M&Ms and Skittles and Snicker bars, watermelon doesn't taste amazing, but once your taste buds change, it is the, the best thing on earth. And I see it with my friends. I see that like, you know, I will be like having like the best meal ever and I'll give them some watermelon or something and they won't exactly taste what I taste. And that is because taste buds change every seven days. So yeah, thank you very, very much for the question. I hope you got something out of that answer. And then they wrote another email Uh, About an hour ago, they said, I just looked at your Instagram post and I guess what I need is a Misfit Mondays. (laughs) I will message you on Instagram. Thank you. Yes. So Misfit Mondays membership. Oh, they wrote, sorry, a Misfit Mondays membership. So Misfit Mondays is uh, a private community that I started almost three years ago now. And it's amazing because it's a place where you can come We meet every single Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You join, you come as you are, you bring salad or fruit or whatever you'd like. We meet, we talk, you ask me anything. I have a presentation and then I do a QA. and a And you can also send me questions that are anonymous. I won't say your name. We have a private Facebook group called Misfit Mondays where people leave recipes and ask questions you know, advice on things and share their meals and share their life. I share videos every day there, uh, meditations, different things that I'm doing. Um, And we also work out together. Okay, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time, we do a full body workout. And if I have a watermelon in the house, then I use a watermelon. But um, technically, it is a watermelon workout. But sometimes... I have eaten my watermelon or I just, I can't do it because it's like 40 pounds and I can't really do too many 40 pound bicep curls. But 
Um, usually I use weights or we do a lot of body weight stuff and, um, yeah, it's been awesome. And I want to say thank you very, very much to everyone who is a member and, um, I'm really loving it. I'm loving the camaraderie. I love working out with fellow fruity cuties. Um, I love meeting every Monday. It makes me feel like somebody when people ask me questions and if you like to join, and sometimes before the questions, you know, I do a presentation. Sometimes we have special guests. So we had Eli Martyr. We had Ava Loves Raw. We had Ann Osborne. And the next special guest I am booking now. And so, um, yeah, I, I highly recommend you check it out. If you're looking for a community, if you're looking to get your questions answered, if you're looking for support and to meet like-minded people, people that are interested in eating a raw vegan diet from all over the world, then I highly recommend you check it out. You go to www.misfitmondays.com. All the information is there and I would love if you can join. And if you join, trust me, you gon' get fit. Okay, working out with me, it's not a joke, by the way. It's not a joke, all right? Uh, It's not a little, you know, cute workout. No, we get sweaty and disgusting. You might come a fruity cutie. You might join, uh, you know, at noon a fruity cutie. But by the time you leave, you are a goddamn hot, nasty, stinking mess. Okay, and that's the way it should be. If you're working out and you still look cute at the end of the workout, you didn't do nothing. You didn't do much. So, yes. Uh, But you don't stink. I said stinking, but you don't stink because you're eating raw. So you don't smell. You're perfect in every way. Um, So, yeah. Join Misfit Mondays for that. Um, And thank you very much to everybody listening that is a member of Misfit Mondays. It's truly a dream come true. I dreamed of having a private community, but I just, I didn't know where to start. I didn't know, like, how to start. I didn't think anybody would join And for many, for a long time, nobody joined. (laughs) For a long time, nobody joined. So I want you to know that if you want to start your own private community, you can do it. And um, you might, it might have to be free for a long time. And then after a few years, maybe only a few months for you, you can start charging people and you can get paid to have fun. You can get paid to be yourself. You can get paid to work out with people that you love to be with. You can have fun and make jokes and you can have a good time while also accomplishing your goals. That is like the ultimate the ultimate um, vision of success for me, which is having fun with people I love while accomplishing our goals. You know what I mean? To me, that just seems like why we're here. So yeah, thank you very, very much for listening. Thank you for being here on the podcast. And don't forget to check out misfitmondays.com. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye, boo.